In this guide, we will cover how trading works in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Wrath of the Druids. During the Viking era, Dublin became one of the first Viking bases, becoming a bustling hub for trade. In Assassin's Creed, Wrath of the Druids, the trade system allows Eivor to get money, loot and supplies from overseas trading. This also boosts Dublin's renown and by finding additional trading post locations and maximising trade resources and Irish supplies, you can unlock a bonus quest as a reward. To start, you will only get access to the trade system feature once you have talked to Azar in Chapter 2 of the Wrath of the Druids DLC. Barad will tell Eivor to go back to Hazar to get some spice for High King Flan's carnation. This will start the quest Dublin's Reach, which will involve you taking your first trade post called Rat Down. When you get the rat down, you will find the trade post has been taken over by bandits, so just clear it out. A signpost will appear, allowing you to build your first trade post. For future trade posts, you will have to defeat bandits and find some deeds before you can claim the trade post. When you unlock more trade posts, you will generate resources faster, which means more stuff for you to buy. Each one of these trade posts automatically produces one type of material over time, with a base rate of 2 per minute. Each new trade post also gives you a new fast travel point, which can be really useful to get around quickly. Trade posts can have three different upgrades. A worker's cottage increases the space of Eivor's chest in Dublin, giving you more room for trade resources. The storehouse increases production of the trade resources of a particular trade post, and the supply depot gives Eivor rations and spare arrows. The worker's room and storehouse are obviously the main upgrades to make, but if you are using the trade posts as fast travel points, it can also be nice to replenish your stocks on arrival. Personally, the storehouse is the more preferable upgrade for me, especially early on, as it gives you more room to fill up while you are away doing missions. After acquiring Rat Down, return to Hazar in the Dublin market. Here you will find out that Rat Down was one of many trade posts out there in Ireland, and if you want to make Dublin the best port town around, then you need to increase its renown and take over other trade posts in Ireland to get different resources. Gathered materials can be found in the chest in front of Hazar's shop in Dublin, so make sure to check it from time to time in order to make sure you get everything out of it. There are seven trade posts across the island of Ireland, and each produces different supplies that can be used for trading at Hazar's stall. The seven trade posts are Rat Down, which supplies clothing, Listura, which supplies text, Atlone, which supplies delicacies, Drumlush, which supplies more clothing, Port Ollie, which supplies luxuries, Dysert, which supplies more text, and Ardmel, which supplies more luxuries. To claim Drumlish, you first need to complete Died in the Wool quest. First, defeat the wolves, and then read the letter in the tree above the trading post. You then find the deed is at Knock Free in the south, so head down there, run up the hill, and then blow off the side wall so that you can get to the deeds inside in the chest. Return to Dumlish and you've got yourself a trading post. There's another trade post in Mead at List Duro, where you complete the Giving Your Worlds quest by defeating all of the guards and reading the letter here in this little area. After reading the letter, you have to head north to Intro, where you have to defeat bandits to find the deeds. I was a much lower level at the time, so I decided to do this a bit more stealthily. If you want to also, you can enter from this area here with the three small huts. Make your way across this area here and then climb up the guard tower. You can use the rope wire to get across to the hut here. And once across, I recommend killing the guard here, as if you don't, he will hear the explosion in a few seconds. To get the deed, you can shoot an arrow through the left hand window at the oil jug. This opens up the window at the back of the hut. Now you can shoot a lock from the front door and retrieve the deeds. Return to List Doro Trading Post to claim it. At Athlone in Connacht, you get the Trouble Brewing Quest. Here again, you clear out the bandits, then read the note left in the barrels by the dock. This starts the quest Trouble Brewing, and you will find the deed in an island to the north. Just take out the bandits, and you've got yourself another deed. Just return back to claim the Athlone Trade Post. Over in the northwest is Port Holly. This is controlled by the Druids, so just take them out, then read the note in the side room of the wall, which tells you that the deeds are in Kesh Koran. This starts the quest Ivory Post. Kesh Koran is to the south, so head down there and look out for Kesh Koran on the side of the cliff. You can take out the Druids and then head to the upper level. You can get inside the cave by shooting an explosive arrow into the wall or positioning yourself just up here and shooting down. 
Here you'll be able to hit another conveniently placed oil jug. Collect up the deed and return to Port Ollie to claim the post. In the northeast of the country, in Northern Ireland, you have Ardmel. At Ardmel, you complete the quest Sweetening the Pot, where you clear out again more bandits and then search for the note next to the tent outside the walls. The deed is located at Gobbins Beach. At Gobbins Beach, you need to open a locked cage and the key is just off the shore. Just swim underwater to get the key and then unlock the cage to get the deed. Return to Ardmel to claim it as a trading post. The final supply post is in Desert in Northern Ireland with the questline illuminating event. Clear out all the soldiers again and then burst through the boxes on the northern wall to read the note inside. You'll find the deed at Malin Head far to the north. When you've got the deed, return to Desert and you've added the final trading post to your collection. I would suggest getting one of each supplies early. That way each time you return to Dublin you get your materials from Azar's chest. If you max out Dublin's renown, Azar will grant you a personal quest called Eye for an Eye, as well as the full Dublin Champion Armour set. Other than this, trade resources are an excellent way for Ivor to get new armour sets, including Basmine's traditional armour from Assassin's Creed Origins. You also get tattoos as well as weapons and ship cosmetics. The more resources that you have, the more things you can get in return. You can also just trade for cash in the game, making this a good way to earn money. To get trade resources, you need to go to Azar's marketplace and interact with the chest next to them. Only then will you have many resources in your inventory that you can use to earn rewards. If you want to upgrade your trade ports, you will also need supplies, which can be done by raiding nearby monasteries, finding them in the world, or by using trade resources and buying them at Nazar's marketplace. So that's your guide on how trading works in Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids. If you found this helpful, why not leave a like and let me know below in the comments. I put a lot of work into these videos and it really helps me with the algorithm, so I really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more guides like this, why not consider subscribing? It's free and make sure you see my latest videos as soon as I upload. And that's it, I'll catch you in the next one.